Hello, Ben here, back with another quick video featuring the Quansheng range of handheld radios. And I've been asked in the comments uh, on previous videos, is it possible to use the Quansheng as a standalone, receive-only radio scanner for VHF and UHF? Well, of course, the answer is uh, yes, absolutely. So uh, let's see how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to turn this UV5R Plus into a receive-only um, radio, so it'll disable the, uh, the PTT. Uh, what I'm going to do is press and hold the push to talk and the button underneath, hold it down, rotate the volume knob, it'll say release all keys, and then puts us into the hidden menu. This is using uh, Exuma version uh, 0.21 or 2.2, one of those. Um, so this will work for most uh, versions of uh, or types of uh, firmware. It'll put you into the hidden menu mode, and then you need to scroll up, and then so you scroll up using the up buttons till we find uh, the F lock, and you'll see at the moment we're on the default settings, which means the radio will transmit out of the box on any frequency between 137 to 174 megahertz or 400 to 470, but like I said, we want to turn this into a receive only scanner, so disabling the PTT. So in the F lock, um, we're gonna scroll up till we find, F lock select, sorry, so F lock at the top, and we're gonna scroll until we find um, disable all. There we go, so disable all. I'm gonna press the menu button to confirm that, then we'll exit. Uh, now you can see we've got just some VHF Marine frequencies programmed to this handheld and then we've got some airband. It won't let you transmit on airband anyway, so if I change down to the uh, BVFO and press the push to talk, it will say TX disabled. Likewise, if we go to the, um, uh, the uh, VHF Marine frequencies, and I've put a few in there, we can scroll up and down through the VHF Marine frequencies. If I push the push to talk now, again it will say TX disabled. So there's no accidental pressing and transmitting on the uh, uh, on the marine band. Obviously you could change it back, uh, going back into the hidden menu again, but for, for easiness and for, for general use, um, you've made yourself basically a, uh, a little simple, very cheap VHF, UHF scanner. Um, you can also program um, the side buttons to do whatever you want as well. So on this one, I've programmed, I think, the top side button opens up the, uh, opens and closes the squelch. And then the second side button, I've set that so that if you press it once, um, it'll start the scan and it'll scan through uh, everything in scan group one. If you press it again, it will scan through everything in scan group 2 and you can see I've programmed some uh, CB channels into there as well. So scan group 2 is my CB channels. If I press scan again, um, it will now scan through uh, through uh, both scan groups and then back again just scans through scan group 1. To get exit the scan, just press exit and it will go back to the channel that you were originally on. You can still use the uh, the scan button there does exactly the same thing, but I've programmed them um, to make it just a uh, simple VHF, UHF scanner, basically. Anyway, hope you found that useful. If you did, remember to uh, hit the uh, like and subscribe. And uh, just as a caveat on that, remember that um, this may not be legal in, in your country. So um, this is uh, just for uh, uh, for information, really. Please check out the, uh, the laws around... Uh, these type of radios uh, and operating them even on uh, receiving the country that you're in. Anyway, 7-3, see you on the next one.